What's up guys, Damien Keyes here. Welcome back to the channel. So I don't know if you know this, but recently I relocated to Nashville, a hub of music and live music. There are literally dozens of gigs in this city every single night. And I have been to my fair share over the last month. You'd think it would be mostly country, but there are loads of different genres here. You've got country, you've got blues, I've seen a jazz band, I've seen some soul, I've seen some funk, I've even seen some rock bands. But the big thing that's here are songwriter rounds, which is where you've got three or four artists, usually with an acoustic guitar, that perform a song each, and that goes round three times. Now, I love these, and I have seen over a 100 artists in the last 30 days. And while Nashville is obviously such a hub for music and the music industry, Industry. One thing I've learned is for up and coming artists, nobody's training these artists in going and doing these songwriter rounds, which means I'm seeing so many artists who are making so many fundamental mistakes, which is stopping their career moving forward. Now, young up and coming artists know they need to stay busy. They need to gig, they need to write, they need to network. The problem is, is no one's training them and therefore they're following tradition. They're watching other artists around them and saying, oh, that's what I need to do. They aren't setting certain standards, which is what we're gonna look at today. And the first thing I wanna look at is the word attention. Attention is so overrated. I know that sounds crazy. You're supposed to get attention. Yes, you do need to get attention, but it's a small piece of the puzzle. Getting attention where someone says, yeah, I've seen you, that doesn't mean anything. What we've got to do is convert them. We have to get attention, and then after that, we have to make sure that we do something that makes someone say, wow, that's amazing. I want more. I want to come on this journey with you. I want more of your music. And don't forget, we are now spoiled. We have so many artists. We have so many things that are distracting us with our time. So yes, getting attention is important, but it's one piece of a very large jigsaw puzzle. So let's start looking at some of these mistakes and how we can improve so that we can cut through that noise. The first thing is dressing like it's a gig. Now I get it. Nashville is hot. Tough. You can't wear cargo shorts and a vest and just go, uh, this is what I dress like. You have to look the part. The same thing is you might go, well, there's only 10 people there. I get it. Tough. You have to look the part because not only are you representing yourself, but you have to be respectful for the people that you're playing to. And you have to remember the golden rule, which is you don't know who's out there. You never know. Most of these people will never have seen you before. This isn't the 30th or the 40th time. These aren't super fans. These are new people. And you never know who is in the audience. So dress like it's a gig. Have a think about what represents you and what connects you to those people in the audience. You've got this opportunity to play. Now is the time to look better than everyone else on that stage. Number two, and a slightly controversial one, play your best songs. This one drives me crazy. Go in and seeing so many artists that say, I think I'm just gonna play you a new song. This one's unrecorded. It's not been released yet. Like it's some kind of privilege that I get to hear this brand new song. The problem is, is what happens if I like it, you donkey? I can't go and listen, can I? You've not recorded it or released it. What an absolute clanger. I get it. You might have done five of these gigs this week, but I haven't seen you, so you are new to me. And you are probably new to a lot of other people. So make sure that I, me, the audience member, make sure I'm leaving going, wow. I can't wait to get in my car and bring you up on Spotify. I can't wait to go and find you on Instagram and add you. I can't wait to see that next music video. And when you do release that next song, that new song, that unrecorded song, I will be waiting. But if you do it in this environment where I am not ready, I probably will forget you. This is the time where you leave your ego at the door. You are playing to the people in front of you who really want to enjoy you so they can come with you on that journey. It's an opportunity to convert these people, not for you to play that new song because you feel like playing that new song. Number three, planning what you're going to say. You get a very short amount of time to introduce this song. The problem is, is people at the bar are talking. People over there are just having a bit of a talk. I might not be able to hear you. So when you haven't planned anything, it means that you haven't got purpose in what you say. So when you go, yeah, funny story you happened the other day, uh, yeah, I was writing a song and blah, blah, blah. Boring and I can't understand. All I'm hearing is And I'm thinking, just play the goddamn song, play the song. 
So if you've got nothing to say, don't say it. But plan what you're going to say. It's much better to have purpose. How's everyone doing tonight? You just said that with purpose. Hey guys, you need to add me on social media. Come on, bring out your phones, get your phones out, add me. This is my handle. That's purpose. But when you're saying, yeah, so me and my mate Dave hurt his foot the other day, who cares? Think about what you're going to say because this is an opportunity for you to introduce yourself to some new people. Number four, say my name, bitch. Damien Keys. All right, not my name, say your name. The amount of times that I'm watching someone perform thinking, this is great. How am I going to find you? I don't know because I don't know who you are and you haven't told me who you are. More importantly, don't just say who you are. Say it three times. This is the golden rule, three times. Why? Because the first time, I might not hear it, or you might might not say it. Imagine me on stage with my guitar. All right, guys, and Damien Keys. How are you going to find that? What did he say his name was? Da da Damien? Da was it Damien? Was it Damien Keys? I didn't quite get it. You need to say it three times because someone might be at the bar. Someone might have just gone to the toilet. Someone might be chatting. As you say it, someone might just go, woo! Either way, I want to find out who you are and I'm going to do that from you. You have to tell me what your name is and where I can find you. Number five, give people a reason to follow you on socials. Don't just say, yeah, guys, you can always follow us on social media. Boring, who cares? I want you to give them a reason. And it's very, very simple. You could do something like this. You can grab your phone, you can turn around and say, everyone's smushy and I want to take a picture of, and you take a picture of you and the crowd. You just let everyone get in. You take the picture and you say, I'm going to put this on my socials. I want you guys to go and tag yourself in it. Or I want you to guys to go and leave a comment underneath saying, I was there, great gig or something like that. All of a sudden, not only are you know, asking them to do something with purpose, but more importantly, they're going to go and see if they look like an absolute moron. Are they going to go, oh no, he's taking a picture. I hope I look okay. I better go and check. What are they doing? They're coming into your house, at which point they're more likely to go, great gig or thanks very much. You're giving them that purpose. Or how about you get them to vote for a song or you run a competition and you say to them, hey, I'm playing three songs tonight. I'm not expecting you to remember the names, but there will be A, B and C. I want you to go on my socials and hit whichever one's your favorite song because I'm going to be recording a live version of that this week and I want you guys to be a part of it. What have you done? You've brought them into your world. You've given them a reason. You've given them purpose. Number six, support the other acts. Are you the, I'll turn up 10 minutes before I play and I'll leave 10 minutes after I finished person? Because that person is so frustrating. It's just, how cool are you? Well done. You turned up late and you just leave straight away and you want everyone to be a part of your gig, but you don't care about anyone else's gig. Really? Is that the way? I mean, why? What's so important that you've got to leave and you can't stay for an extra hour to support the next band or come a little bit earlier to support the, the ones before you, the people with the least amount of experience? I mean, I get it. That Netflix series is not going to watch itself, but don't be a douche. Support the other people because it will come back in spades. It will come back again and again as some of these other artists start to pick up steam and they go, you were always there for me. There's mileage in this. And number seven is the big one. I've left it until the end for the serious people who've actually got to this point of the video. The people who are actually serious about their career. Because this one is the biggest mistake that I have seen. Out of 100 acts that I've seen in the last 30 days, how many do you think have had somebody there taking pictures taking videos or potentially have done a live stream whilst they're performing, maximizing the best thing that they do, the thing that they're doing today. I'm performing a gig. I'm going to get videos and pictures of that event. How many? You'd expect it to be, what, 50%? Maybe 50% didn't think about it, but you'd expect 50% of those artists to say, hey, while I'm there, I'm doing the thing on my socials that I do best. I'm singing. I'm going to get pictures of me performing. This is social proof. This is social currency. This is showing people what I do. This is giving people examples. This is entertaining people. You'd expect 50%, right? No. 30%? No. 20%? No. 10%? No. I'll tell you how many out of 100. Zero. Not one artist maximized that opportunity of them being on stage and said, hey, do me a favor. Can you take a load of pictures of me? Or can you video this whole whole thing so I can chop it up and make a video? Or I can even take one of the songs and I can put it on my social media. Or hell, I'll even get a little clip from my microphone and I'll go live. So not only am I playing to these 30 people, but also I'm playing to my entire Instagram and they're watching me do a gig for the people who can't actually get there. 
Nobody did it. Are you kidding me? And then I go onto people's socials because I've, I find them and I go onto their socials and there's pictures of the meal that they had or a view. And I'm like, here's a lovely view from when I went hiking. I don't care. You're an artist. I want to see you perform. I want to know about you and what you do. And all you've done is go, I don't really know what to post on my socials. Yes, you do. That. Not your food. Not a view. You. You doing what you do best. You singing. You performing. Your original songs. This is an opportunity. In fact, it's an amazing opportunity. Squeeze the lemon. And breathe. And after that rant, I want to just recap with the three most important rules. Number one, you are new to somebody. You're probably new to most of these people, but you are new to somebody. Respect that because those people will come on your journey with you if they feel like they've connected with you. So therefore, you need to have purpose. Number two, you need to have purpose in what you wear, in what you say, in what you play, in what you do. Have purpose and make this a show. Be better than everybody else purely and simply by planning and having purpose. And number three, please squeeze the lemon. If you are performing, get it on video, get pictures, make sure that you're looking at your best and make sure that you are now telling the world and you are going past just the 20 or 30 people in here. This is an opportunity for you to show off. And if you're doing this five times a week and going, oh, I do this five times a week, who's got time for that? You. You've got time for that. Five times a week is basically saying to people, I'm so good that I do this five times a week. And people go, wow, that's amazing. I need to come and see you play live. You're obviously very good if you're playing that many times. So squeeze the lemon. Now, I promise you, if you can stick to these things, your live show will be a cut above everybody else. And do you know what happens when you do that? People take notice because that's when you get the right attention because people say, hang on a minute, that person is better. I'm seeing these people day in, day out, all day, every single day, and you're better. And what happens then? You start to go up the rankings. You start to go up the ladder. You start to get more opportunities. You, you get more people interested. You get more people talking. You get more social media because everyone else is here. You don't have to be up here. Everyone else is here. You're here just a little bit better and it makes a huge difference. It's strategies like this and a million others that are how you become successful as an artist, as a musician, and as a songwriter. And that is what DK Music Business Academy is all about. It's about understanding the industry. It's about understanding strategies, everything from Facebook ads to promotion, to content, to staying organized, to songwriting, to production, everything. That's what DK Music Business Academy is all about. It's about you understanding what you need to do next in a step-by-step -step approach. And whilst you're doing it, having access to me and a bunch of other people who are incredible musicians and artists from around the world. So if you are serious about your music career, then come and join me in DK Music Business Academy. The link is down below and I will see you on the inside. Otherwise, do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe button so more musicians like you can see this and get the most out of it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.